This video is going to review polynomial division, specifically dividing polynomials without a remainder and without a placeholder using the tabular method. So 2x squared plus x minus 10 divided by x minus 2. So if I'm using the tabular method, I need to figure out how many rows and how many columns. So the number of rows is always going to be one more than the highest exponent in your denominator. So if I look at my denominator, I have x minus 2. And remember that that x has an imaginary 1. So my rows is going to be 1 plus 1, which gives me 2 rows. Now I have to figure out the columns. And columns is going to be determined by subtracting the 2 and adding 1. So for columns, if I take a look at this, and I have an x squared divided by an x, I'm looking at my biggest exponent in each piece. I'm going to get an answer that involves x. And then I have an imaginary 1, once again, so you're always going to add 1. So this is going to be two rows by two columns. So I'm going to set up my two by two box for the tabular method of dividing. Your divisor always goes on the right hand side. So I have x minus two. And then on the diagonals is what is in your numerator. So I have two x squared plus x minus 10. And I'm always going to start in the upper left-hand corner. So I know that the only way for me to get a 2x squared on this diagonal is for this upper left-hand corner to be 2x squared. So now I want to find that top piece. So what times x gave me 2x squared? 2x. Once you get a top piece, you multiply. 2x times x gave me 2x squared. We got that right. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Now, on this diagonal, it has to add to give me a positive x. So what plus negative 4x gives me a positive x? The answer is going to be 5x. So once I get that, now I want to find that top piece again. What times x gave me that 5x? Positive 5. As soon as you get a top piece, you multiply. 5 times x is 5x, which we had. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. I see that that's what I should get on this diagonal, so I am good. So my answer is 2x plus 5. Be sure to watch any of the other videos on dividing with placeholders or with remainders or using long division instead.